Hello, my name is Taylor, and today I'm going to walk you through the calibration of your SC200 or SC300 instrument. Calibration of your pH electrode needs to be done once per day of use. You want to make sure your pH electrode has been soaking in clean and fresh pH electrode storage solution for at least 24 hours before beginning the test. We recommend replenishing the storage solution at least every six months or if the solution becomes dirty or cloudy. You will need your instrument, pH electrode, pH 4.01, and pH 7 calibration solutions, plus some DI or distilled water in a rinse bottle preferably, and a waste container. Just a side note, your pH electrode may or may not look like this one. Throughout the past 10 years, we have upgraded and slightly modified the pH electrode, but they all will function essentially the same. First thing to do is attach your pH electrode to the instrument and navigate to Cal mode. We recommend pouring some of the pH calibration solutions into either the lid of the bottles or into a separate vial to avoid contaminating your solutions. Then remove the pH electrode storage solution vial by gently unscrewing the bottle from the lid. Pull the bottle off and remove the screw cap. Rinse the probe with DI water. With the new pH electrodes especially, we have found that you do not need to maintain constant movement of the calibration solutions. All you need is a simple swirl at the beginning and then you can let the electrode sit while the unit stabilizes. Once the pH LED light starts flashing, you can press enter. The words good cal should scroll across the screen. If you get a bad cal, you will need to repeat this process until good cal appears on the screen. Rinse the electrode off and then repeat this process using the other calibration solution. It does not matter which one you start with, so long as you do the calibration in both of the solutions. If you want to ensure that your unit is calibrated, go ahead and calibrate it again in these solutions, maybe one or two more times. After this, you can then take your pH reading. When you have finished calibrating, you can go ahead and take your pH reading. If you're not gonna be reading your pH, make sure you've rinsed off your electrode and then put the probe back in the solution and screw the vial back together. Then you can disconnect your pH electrode and turn off the instrument. And that's how you calibrate your instrument with your pH electrode. If you are having any issues with calibrating your unit and pH electrode, we recommend looking at our troubleshooting guide on our website under the support tab. If you continue to have issues, please either send us an email or give our tech support a call.